Hi you guys, how are you? If you're new to my channel, my name is Sarah. This is my YouTube channel, Stitching by Sarah. This is a channel about my little addiction or as evidenced by today's episode, not so little addiction of cross stitch. If you are new to my channel, I wanna thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy my content and decide to come back and watch other episodes. And like always, uh, thank you so very much for my returning viewers. I really do appreciate y'all that keep coming back week after week. Um, so first of all, <clears throat> Um, I am recording really early in the morning and I still have that morning, you know, morning cough. So hopefully it won't be too bad if you see a lot of splits in the, um, in the recording is probably because I was coughing, but, um, uh, it's just the morning, you know, the usual morning, got to clear my lungs type stuff. And it's only eight o'clock in the morning, so I haven't been up much. And so that's why. <clears throat> I'll be doing that quite a bit. Sorry. Um, so I don't have a featured FFO today. Today's episode is going to be way longer than my usual 15 to 20, 25 minutes. Um, I have new starts. I have, believe it or not, two finishes. I have a whole bunch of whips. And the items that I have to show you um, for my collection. I stopped at the Stitch Niche along the way. That's in Arlington, Texas, on my way to the Silver Needle. Um, so I have items from Stitch Niche. I have items from Silver Needle. Um, there are items that I forgot that I bought that arrived. Um, so I have a whole table right over here, right over here, of enabling for you guys. So let's start. Let me start with my finishes. Oh, let me remind you that if you want to be a featured friend, which means you have an item either in progress, an item that you just finished stitching, or an item that you fully finished that you would like me to show on my channel, um, by all means, um, if you if you have my text or my cell phone number, you can text me, but email me um, and in the tagline put featured friend and I will show it on my channel as um, you're, you're my featured friend and I will show your work off to everybody who watches my channel. I want to apologize. I've got a cough drop in my mouth in addition to the morning crud. All right, so let me start with my finishes. So let me show you. So this is Amy Brooken Designs Little Cuties. I was working on the Cardinal. This is where it was last time you guys saw it. And this is what he looks like all finished. And he just do cute. Um, I don't remember. So the fabric is 28 count <clears throat> by Hand Dyed by Rolanda Ecru, and I pulled my own floss colors. Some of them are the call for and the rest are not. So finish number one. All right. And I guess they're going down there. <clears throat> finish number two is a finish for now until I, you know, I'm going to leave it alone for several months because um, I'm tired of stitching on it. It is done as for the called for stitching. So y'all remember Silver Creek Samplers, Michael's Prayer. This is where he was last time you guys saw him. And there he is finished as far as I'm doing for the moment. So I had told you that I thought about putting, um, let's see if you can see it. You cannot see it. There's some shimmer in the angel wings. Oh, maybe a little bit. <clears throat> um, let's see. So I finished the angel wings and, you know, her eyes and her hands. Um, I finished the word amen, and then I finished the bottom line with Michael Judge's name and um, when he died. <clears throat> so if you are new to my channel, 
the white. Let me see. Let me put this back. <clears throat> the white does not show up very well. So I am um, going to put it aside for a little bit. And then in a little while, like months, I'm going to pick it up and try to figure out what I'm going to do to it to make the, the, um, the white stand out. So as for, <clears throat> thanks, sorry guys. As for the EGA, because this was my year long, um, EGA, EGA, um, uh, what is it called? My year long challenge piece for the embroidery guild that I am a part of. So as far as they are concerned, my project is done. So I have to just take it and show them to them. Uh, but the little finishing touch, I'll figure out next year. All right, I'm going to save the finish or the starts for last because they're related to the class that I just took. Uh, my next, my next whip is Santa's wish list. And this is by Not a Tree Needlework. So there he is. Um, this is from the 2021 Just Cross Stitch Ornament Edition. This is where he was last time you guys saw him. And this is where he is now. So I worked my way up so I could work my way down. Because I like to start at the top. I don't know why I didn't. Uh, the fabric is um, 14 count. Picture this ale. <clears throat> and I pulled from my stash for the floss. So that's where he's at. My next project, for some reason, I tend to pull this out when I go to the garage to go get my oil changed or something like that. So um, on I think it was Friday, Monday, I don't know. Um, I guess it was Monday. I went and got my oil changed in my car and I pulled out gingerbread cookies by stitching with the housewives. This is where he was last time you saw it. Ouch. And this is where it is now. So I finished I believe I finished all the white in that bottom row. And then there was a bunch of places that needed red or brown, you know, like a little bit of something um, that needed some green. I believe there was some brown needed there. <clears throat> so the top part is all finished. So I just have to finish the little area there that says uh, cut or mix cut. And then I have to finish the houses. So we're getting there on that one. <clears throat> My next is um, Stargazer by Mirabilia. This is where she was last time you guys saw her. And that's where she's at now. The fabric is 16 count uh, witching hour by pole stitches. I am using the called for for the hair and then the bustle. Um, but I converted her to purple because the other color did not match or I couldn't see it on the fabric. So that's where she's at now. And this is a stitch along with my friend Heather, um, the full disclosure stitcher on Instagram. All right. <clears throat> and the next stitch along that I'm a part of is uh, the Jeanette Douglas mini, bu mini bouquet sampler. This is where it was last time you guys saw it. And that's where we're at now. The fabric is 40 count Dead Sea Scrolls by Seraphim Fabrics. Um, this week I finished, come on, finished that border. And then I worked on some of 
that flower. I'm still way behind, but you know, a little bit each week keeps me <clears throat> not as far back as I could be. Oops, I just hit Leah. All right, <clears throat> and then there is Rustic Wine Lover Santa by Frony Ritter Designs. This is where it was last time you saw it. And that's where he's at now. So I worked on this in uh, the hotel room up in Tulsa this weekend, or this past week. So this was my evening stitch. So I got some of his wine glass. I added more of his jacket, um, his cuff. Fabric is 28 count picture this plus by Legacy. No, 28 count Legacy by Picture This Plus. Sorry, I got that backwards. And I am using the called for DMC. All righty. <clears throat> so my new starts. I thought that um, since I was going to be going to a class with La Di Da up at um, the Silver Needle, um, I think it was like Sunday, I started a La Di Da because I have a bunch of her patterns, but I haven't started any. I started Love Abide by La Di Da. Uh, my fabric is 28 Count Swank by Fortnite Fabrics. Oops. Yeah. There's a strand hanging there, but. And I am using. I think I'm using the called for floss. So it's going to be a pretty big one. But that's where my start is. It is going to be. It is 254 wide by 243 high. So it's. It's a big one. And, you know. Very rarely do I start small things. So that's. Um, new start number one. <clears throat> and this is a project that was for our class. So this is not something you can buy yet as far as I'm aware. If you are, I'm, I'm mistaken. But um, So we started what's called Anne Maria's, Anne Marie's Pocket. Oops, sorry. Let me take that out of that. It is a needle book. Um... The fabric is 36 count hog bristle by Fox and Rabbit. I got a lot started. The alphabet is all Smyrna crosses. She not only gave us the, um, the fabric and the floss, she also gave us the finishing items. So I'm I've got all the finishing items to um, make my little needle book. So you'll be seeing that every now and then. And that has been my stitching this week. So I told you there's a lot. While we were at class, we did a little project. It's called um, Scissor Block and, uh, and Fob Kit. So they gave us a plain block. Sorry, crinkles. They gave us a plain block and we painted and we um, mod podged on the little pictures. So I chose the animals. The rabbit, cat, uh, goat, sheep, and another rabbit. And then you can see that's for my scissors. Um, I don't have many scissors in here. So that's so cute. Um, in the package, we received a bunch of pictures that we could go through. So there was um, four times. So there was 20 pictures. I chose all the animals. My set of pictures had the little babies or houses. 
four game boards. I think there was at least two or three different types of um, pictures that came with the pattern or with the blocks. So that was our little afternoon project. Put that right there. All right, so all the goodies I have bought. Um, let me start with this one. So I don't remember exactly which of this I went specifically to Fat Quarter Shop to buy. I don't remember what it was or why I went, but while I was there, I picked up some more Petite Treasure Braid because I really like that. This one is, it's called Shimmer Color. And um, it doesn't say, but they're, they're basically shimmery type stuff. So that may be a possibility on um, Michael's Prayer. And while I was there, I saw they had a bunch of Picture This Plus fabric, so I grabbed some. This is Picture This Plus Shale, 28 count. There is 14 count. I think they had a lot of 14 count, but not a lot of the other. So this is 14 count earthen. This is 14 count heritage. Oh, it's greener than that. Maybe it like, maybe like that. And 14 count Wren. Mm, this is a, a greeny brown also. Maybe like that. So that was from Fat Quarter Shop. My goal when I went to um, Stitch Niche and uh, the silver needle. My goal was not to buy a lot of patterns because I have a whole bunch of patterns. I wanted to add to my linen. I wanted to add to my um, fancy floss and to my finishing supplies. So, um, sorry, crinkle, crinkle. First of all, stitch niche. I found a cute, isn't that cute? A uh, cute project bag. So I told her to just put everything in the project bag, save a bag. And I did find two patterns. Um, this is the Be Mine Biscornu by Heartstring Sampler. Sampler. I have no idea why I have a hard time saying her. Heartstring Samplery. And then this cute little, it says a scissor fob by the purple thread. Um, a cute little scissor pop and it comes with all the goodies so it's a full kit all right so I did buy two fabrics they are both under the sea this one is Hades realm this is a 32 count That's not white, that's blue. Let me see if I can get that in there. Well, it's a bluey instead of a white. So that is Hades Realm. And this is also a 32 count. This is Beach Walk. It's really pretty. I don't think I have any of the um, under the sea fabrics, so this is kind of new to me. Very pretty. All right, I'm not going to show you individually each um, floss that I got, but <clears throat> actually, let me show you these. I got some felt 
for finishing. I found a sulky pack, so I thought I'd try a sulky, some sulky um, floss. Uh, let's see. Here is, uh, let's see, some rickrack for finishing. And I'm just going to leave them all in there. Uh, there's a whole bunch. You don't need to see my receipt. <clears throat> whole bunch of floss. So that is my stitch niche. Um, excursion, I guess you call it. Um, while I was away, my coloring cotton of the month came. Sorry, guys. Crinkle, crinkle. So this is the November thread of the month. Aren't they just pretty? Um, we have Good Cheer. That's green. Um, Fruitcake. Snowflake. Um, Jingle Bell. And this is Jolly Jolly Suit. So you use that as Santa Claus. So there's those floss. All right, from the Silver Needle. Um, I'll just start at the top. I found another cute little project bag. And he did so cute. Gnomes with turkeys. They have a table there that is half price. So I found a whole bunch of charts that are half price. This is the acorn, acorn sewing roll. I found a margarine baston. I saw that, I'm like, oh, I know her. I have one of those pieces. This is Helga Mandel Designs, Long May She Wave. This is Sarah Steele, 1772, by Tree of Life Sampling. And let's see, My Big Toe. I bought this, I'm going to make this for my son because, you know, for a six foot two, 200 pound guy, he's afraid of spiders. Don't anybody tell you, or don't any of you guys tell him that I said that on air, but I'm going to make that for him. There's nothing to fear, but fear itself and spiders. So I'm going to make that for him. And I don't know why I got these, but... These are bumper stickers. They were 50 cents each. Uh, you call it empty nest. I call it my new sewing room. Um, people, I am an empty nester and honestly, I am enjoying it. And I only stitch in days that end with Y. All right, um, and then I bought several la-di-da patterns. Actually, I guess I got a lot of Lottie Dot patterns. I got the Honeysuckle Birth Sampler. I figured since she was there, I'd, I'd support her and buy some of her patterns. This is Virtue. This is My Country. These are so cute. I love these nutcrackers. Kindred Spirits of Thread. And this is a flower pot roll up. <clears throat> I, let's see. I got Dirty Annie's Not My Pasture. Thought about making that and hanging it up someplace around my locker at work. And fabric, uh, 32 count vintage country mocha. So we were given a gift certificate for a free um, fat eighth from the Silver Needle. They didn't give us a little goodie bag. They said instead of giving you all sorts of trinkets and stuff that you might not want, they're just giving us a gift certificate to fabric. So this was my fabric. 
um, that's vintage country mocha. And I don't know what, I think this is 32 count. Um, I don't see the tag, but it's, it's the fabric that uh, the Nutcracker Village is done on. So the shimmery, opalescent, like a tanny color. All right, um, finishing items I got. I got a little bit of, I've got some chenille. Oops, here's another chenille. And some more rickrack. And I'm not gonna show it all, but look at all the floss, the overdyed floss I got. I just basically went through and um, said, oh, I don't think I have that color. I'll grab a couple of them. I don't have that color. I'll grab a couple of them. All right, we're almost there. And then I have my purchase that I had told you about last time that I had to go pick up from Samplers and Stitchin'. All right. So this is from Samplers and Stitchin'. This is 2022 Wee Santa. Um, this is Waxing Moon Designs Enough Winter. I want enough winter. I want my flip flops. I have to find the uh, flip flop charms. Oh, they're just flowers. All right. I have to find those charms. And I must have been in a Christmas mood when I ordered some of these. Um, this is Winterful Friends by Silver Creek Sampler. This is also Silver Creek Sampler. This is Lighting the Way. And um, I think this is what caused me to order some stuff through um, um, Samplers and Stitching. So I wanted to have a pattern from uh, with my needle since I didn't have any and I had gone to that retreat. So I ordered House on the Hill. Sorry for the glare. From with my needle. Oh, all right. So I lied. There is one more thing. So I forgot that I had ordered from Forbidden Fiber Co. There. Holiday 2022 Advent. So in December, you're going to see me pulling items. Look at all these items. You're going to see me pulling items from here. Um, and I'll show you. Let's see, so this is day two, day four. Um, this is day 21. So in December, I will be showing you um, those items as I open them. Hopefully I'll be a good girl and open them on the day I'm supposed to and not get ahead of myself. All right, that was a lot of stuff. Um, so I hope you all had a good week. Um, it's supposed to have downpours again today, which we need. Uh, well, we don't need the downpours. We need nice, steady rain. Um, and then cold fronts coming through. And my husband said that starting um, or this weekend, it's supposed to be a high in the 50s. So I have to go find my all my warm stuff for work. I've already got my long sleeves pulled out so that um, this coming week I have them pulled out. Um, as for next week's video... I do not know if I'm doing one. We have contractors coming to fix our foundation in our house and in the garage. They're going to be here Monday through uh, Monday through Thursday, and I work Friday. So if they are really noisy, I will not make a video. I will see you in two weeks. If on Thursday they're being good, I can't. You know, you don't hear a lot of things. I will make the video. Um, 
supposedly they're not supposed to show up until between 9 and 10. If that is true, then maybe Thursday morning, bright and early, like 8 o'clock in the morning again, I'll make a video and then just have it set to show up at whatever time on Friday. So I hope you all had a good week. I hope you're all staying um, uh, healthy and I hope you're all getting to get a lot of sewing done. And hopefully I will see you all in one week. Bye guys.